Hey Washington Fish Questers, Poorly Lit Blake here. I'm sorry to report this video is a re-upload. Why is that you ask? I had this techno track that I used in a lot of classic fish quests. Uh, the artist used to give out those tracks for free and now he's made a commercial album. So I either had to go back and uh, replace those songs or actually trim out the footage. I accidentally clicked trim uh, on this one so it basically took out a, a minute of the video where I was actually catching the fish. So if you've already seen it, uh, no need to watch it again unless you really liked it. But uh, here you go. I believe it is uh, Slow Death uh, Rigs for Soda Lake Walleye. It's time for Washington Fish! Side quest? This episode, Slow Death Rigs for Soda Lake Walleye. Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. Well, I was going to try to do a walleye episode, and heck, I still am going to try. I'm here in Moses Lake, but holy smokes is it windy. The forecast called for winds in the mid-teens. I was going to be over here anyway, I'm meeting a buddy on Sunday. That's Saturday today. But, uh... It ended up being more like probably mid to upper 20s. I just walked out of my hotel room. I wish I would have had the camera on me. My hat got blown straight off my head. Like the second I stepped out the door and I looked up and there was this, uh, uh, I don't know if it was a hawk or a falcon, but it was just like, I think it was a hawk. It was, it was trying to uh, go against the wind. <laughs> it was just kind of hanging out in midair and then it finally was like kind of turned pace and got blown like a kite the other way. So it is super windy. I was going to either try uh, Lind Cooley or Soda Lake. Uh, so Lind Cooley is an arm of the Potholes Reservoir. I did my uh, a perch episode there one time when it froze over and I had a great time. Uh, wonderful time, really. But anyway, uh, there can be walleye in the Lind Cooley. It's also right off of uh, Medicare Beach, which is a very popular walleye trolling spot in the fall. However, I just got my, uh, you can kind of see it back there, I got my nine and a half foot dinghy so I'm just gonna drive down to Soda Lake which is actually my favorite man-made lake something always good happens to me on Soda Lake it is one of the 60 seep lakes that was formed when O'Sullivan Dam dammed up Potholes Reservoir and it's actually still connected to Potholes so I think a Soda Lake is kinda like Potholes Junior since it still has that connection uh, any fish you could catch in Potholes is likely to be in Soda especially including walleye it's a pretty good walleye lake it's about 150 160 acres it's a fairly deep lake in places too, and most importantly today, it has some pretty big cliff faces. So if it's a northerly wind, which it appears to be, sometimes it can be pretty protected. So I'm gonna go check it out, and uh, let's go. I'll let you know uh, what I see here. Let's go. Well, I'm here. The wind didn't magically go away, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, the wind's a little too bad. Uh, it's a little, it's white cappy, but frankly, uh, I just brought my, my trolling motor. Uh, it's just a little too dangerous. If it was maybe, I don't know, eight miles, of wind slower, I'd give it a try. All right, it's day two. <laughs> Yesterday was just too rough. I tried to fish it from shore for about 20 minutes, but I was about to die, so I, I just had to call the day. The weather forecast was wildly off. I was going to meet a friend uh, in the morning and actually do another type of fishing. We had to cancel because the morning was his only window. Uh, so I'm back here. I'm headed back to Soda. I just thought I'd pull out, pull over from uh, driving down just to get this beautiful view here of the Sea Plakes with me. Look at that. It's still very windy out. However, people are on Ling Cooley. Unlike yesterday, nobody was out because of the wind. And it's supposed to be dying down more and more. It's, uh, it's went down quite a bit since this morning, so hopefully I can get out there on soda today and at least get two or three hours of uh, walleye angling in. Well, I'm back in the truck because it's still blowing quite a bit. However, it's much better. I will be able to make a go of it today. I'm probably going to be able to fish for two or three hours and then I got to get out of here. I'm not going to waste the walleye fish quest on this episode because although I love Soda Lake, uh, the conditions aren't great and like I say, I'm only going to have a couple hours. Oh, my audio would be complete trash because I don't have a, uh, a covered mic with me. So the game plan is this. I'm going to start trolling, see if I can mark some fish. I have a two-pole endorsement, so I'm going to be trolling a couple of bottom bouncers. And walleye fishing uh, in Washington, at least, bottom bouncers are super common. Uh, they are made, they're kind of what they sound like. They bounce to the bottom, they keep your bait maybe, uh, I don't know, three inches off the bottom. Four or five, I'm not exactly sure. But they keep it out of the dirt <laughs> and on the bottom where the walleye tend to be. 
and off of that bottom bouncer I'm going to have a slow death hook uh, behind a smiley blade they're called. Now this rig up, uh, it's kind of neat, it's kind of like plug cutting a herring with these uh, slow death hooks. They just kind of barely turn and uh, turn that night crawler. And that smiley blade uh, doesn't need much speed at all to turn either. And the wall, I seem to like it. Woo! <laughs> it's still freezing, but now I'm cooking with gas. So here's what a smiley blade and a slow death looks like in a mile an hour. Pretty nice, eh? told you something good always happens to me at Soda Lake. They are small, but these are some Keeper Soda Lake walleye. They're both at about uh, 13 and a half, 14 inches, which is pretty average. I don't know if I've caught one out of soda bigger than 16. But whew, I'm really excited because I was, uh, I, I thought this this trip was just going to get winded out. So, whew, I'm, I'm happy even though these aren't, these aren't monsters. But uh, you might have seen with that first one, I just let it take the bait, you know. I just waited until I could feel the, the weight of the fish on the line. And then uh, I was... Um, as I'm about to do again, <laughs> just getting my uh, boat out of the rocks, uh, you know, so the other bait basically went dead, and then that one hit. So these are definitely from the same school. Soda Lake has a pretty in interesting topography. Like I said, it does get pretty deep. Um, there's this little island right when you uh, launch, and right, at, right behind it, 70 feet. And then there's another couple little islands uh, out in the middle of the lake that kind of separates it into two parts. The other side of those islands, I think the southeast side, is still pretty choppy and windy. So I'm just going to be sticking in kind of like this, the bowl that's closer to the launch, which I believe to be the northwest side. There's number three. It's a little dirty because I spilt my night crawlers down on the boat. Yeah, they're all coming in at about 13, 14 inches, but that's uh, a okay because in Washington State, unless otherwise marked, I think in a pond, reservoir, or lake, the limit is eight. And be sure to double check this with uh, only one can be over 22 because that's probably going to be a big female. So that's how they keep the fishery going. All right, there's number four. As you can see, they're all. Just about the same size. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Had a great time out here uh, bouncing these uh, slow death rigs behind some smiley blades. And although those walleye aren't big, you know, I was looking for some eaters, and uh, those four will fit the bill. So thanks so much, and see you next time on Washington Fish Side Quest. <laughs>